The number of seats in the first row of an auditorium is 18, and the number of seats in each row thereafter is two more than in the previous row. What is the total number of seats in the rows of the auditorium? So 18 in the first row, and so that means there'd be 20 in the second row, 22 in the third row, and etc. going back. So in other words, we're adding up consecutive even numbers, 18 plus 20 plus 22 plus etc. Now, if we had any idea where this ended, either we knew the final term or we knew the total number of terms, then we'd be able to sum this sequence. Well, statement number one tells us there are 27 rows. If there are 27 rows, we know there are 27 terms to the sequence. Well, immediately, that would allow us to sum the sequence. So statement number one by itself is perfectly sufficient. Statement number two tells us the number of seats in the last row is 70. So in other words, we're dealing with a sequence that looks like 18 plus 20 plus 22 plus dot 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 plus 68 plus 70. And that's where it ends. So if we know that's where it ends, we'd be able to figure out how many terms there are in the sequence and we'd be able to figure out the sum of the sequence. So again, because this is data sufficiently, we don't actually have to go ahead and calculate that sum. It is enough to know that we could calculate that sum. So statement number two by itself is sufficient. Both statements are sufficient. The answer is D.